Ever since the modern iteration of Queer Eye burst onto our screens in 2018, bubbly hairstylist Jonathan Van Ness has been transforming lovable schlubs into sleek gods and goddesses, always while imbuing his subjects with the requisite confidence required to pull off their new looks. Like professional but edgy. Like a gorgeous young mayor should. Total transformation. The frank and often hilarious reality star just wrapped up his first ever stand-up comedy tour, The Road to Beijing, which saw Van Ness regaling audiences with funny tales from his childhood, demonstrating his impressive gymnastics prowess, and even educating them on the surprising correlation between U.S. politics and competitive figure skating. Meanwhile, a New York Times interview coinciding with the release of his memoir, Over the Top, revealed the unflappable Fab Five fave has been silently battling with HIV for years. Van Ness told BuzzFeed's AM to DM that letting the world know was a relief, saying, "...definitely a weight off my shoulders, but also a big wake-up call as far as the amount of work that's still left to go and the amount of education that still needs to be shared." He pointed to the pervasive and worldwide stigma associated with those who are HIV positive and hoped the book continues to expand on a much-needed conversation on the subject. Van Ness also recently opened up to The New York Times about his previous struggles with drug addiction and sexual abuse, explaining that he'd agonized over whether to come out publicly about his HIV-positive status since gaining fame on Queer Eye. With the show recently debuting its fourth season, quickly followed by a four-part special, We're in Japan on Netflix, the hairstylist and amateur figure skater felt the time was right to reveal himself as a, quote, member of the beautiful HIV-positive community. Dishing about the show itself, Van Ness also revealed to BuzzFeed his biggest Queer Eye makeover regret. Ted Terry, the subject of the second season's final episode, a 30-year-old hipster mayor of a small Georgia town who revealed he'd been growing his impressive beard since Trump was elected president. Controversially, Van Ness shaves Terry's clean beard during his makeover, which the proud beard aficionado now admits he wasn't too on board with doing, implying he received some pressure from the producers. Let's make it a little less mountain man. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Van Ness told BuzzFeed, I'll be honest, I never wanted to take that beard off. I was very pro-beard. I was very pro-resistance beard. I definitely got my little arm twisted on that." Terry himself told City Lab last year that the show pushed for a big change, saying, "...well, the show really wanted a transformation, so I was happy to abide by a very stark contrast from a beard that I had been growing out for almost a year to being clean-shaven. I think I look a little young when I'm clean-shaven." The young mayor added that he has since grown his facial hair back, though he promised to abide by Van Ness's grooming tips regardless, and says he won't go, quote, full mountain man again. In response to the Queer Eye star's revelation to BuzzFeed about the regrettable grooming, Terry tweeted, Viva la hashtag resistance beard. In other JVN news, the reality star recently found himself at the center of controversy alongside his Queer Eye castmates when the show returned to his hometown of Quincy, Illinois for a special episode focusing on his beloved high school arts teacher, Kathy Dooley. In an interview with The Guardian, Van Ness revealed how a local pastor organized protests over the Fab Five's visit, saying, "...he sent a letter to the newspaper that blasted the normalization of LGBT culture and said we should not be rolling out the welcome mats at a public school." Rather than an isolated incident, Van Ness feels this is symptomatic of our turbulent times, admitting, "...I don't think we've come as far as I wished and hoped that we had." However, Van Ness credits all his hardships, including the HIV diagnosis, with preparing him to fight for what's right, acknowledging, "...I absolutely do not think I'd have been as socially aware or conscious or want to make as much of a difference. It gave me a reason to really fight." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite reality stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.